Got one more act left in this section, so keep that applause going. Clap, we will cheer around the stage. Stephen Lewis, everybody. Good evening. So um, I recently turned 50, um, and I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to do stand-up. <coughs> um, but before the inevitable happens, you know, um, you know, being put into an old people's home, <laughs> it's going to happen. Uh, you know, I'm, you know, well, I'll have to be in a room, listening to people's problems, complete strangers, shitting myself. <laughs> uh, yeah, so turning fifty, a lot of things happen when you turn fifty. My hair's falling out. I've been told it's in my jeans. Looked in every pocket, <laughs> every pocket. Um, and things start to go south, you know, costing me a fortune to find my balls. <laughs> um, but uh, I remember, I remember the time when my mum was pregnant. I used to sneak out at night. Um, and then I thought, and, that, and, that, and then I thought, hang on a minute, I could nick stuff here. No fingerprints. So yeah, um, when I was growing up, when I was growing up, I was uh, I was known as the scruffy kid. So I stopped doing the goat impressions. Um, <laughs> and then one day, my gran, she said, "Stephen, went, what?" She went, "Here's ten pound. Don't tell your mum." I said, "It'll cost you more than that." <laughs> so um, yeah, and um, I was known as a lazy kid. <sighs> it's not up to me with that. It's just. Um, yeah, um, we'll scrub that one. Um, <laughs> so I grew up on a council estate, and on the council estate there was a candle shop, and I'll never forget the day it burnt down. <laughs> we all stood round, sang happy birthday. <laughs> yes. um, so yeah, um, there was a s on the estate there was a guy who used to make yardsticks, but he doesn't make them any longer. Um. <laughs> uh, and we also, we had a dog, we used to have a dog growing up, it was an amnesia retriever. <laughs> Have you had one? No, it was an amnesia retriever. It used to throw stuff. It brought everything back. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, so I used to keep myself to myself as a kid. Um, and I hated myself. So you can imagine how that went. Um, and I grew up in the 70s and 80s. Used to always write to Jim will fix it. <laughs> Not even paedophiles had replied to me. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, yeah. Um, and I like rice. <laughs> you like rice? It's great when you want 3,000 or something. It's great. It's great. But I, I struggle breathing. I think I'm a bit basmatic. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, we used to take holidays to Wales. Um, and we'd get the train, and there was one time. Got on the train, there was an announcement over the tannoy. Uh, the train was cancelled due to a jumper on the line. I thought, I never knew network could be so disruptive. <laughs> <laughs> so then we thought, oh, we'll take the bus, we'll take the bus. So we got the bus to Cardigan Bay, got on. <laughs> You're there already, are you? Um, so we got a bus to Cardigan Bay, got on. Said there are two tickets to Cardigan Bay. And he went, no tickets to Cardigan today, boy oh. And I went, what the fuck's wrong with everyone with this wall? What's going on? Yeah, we'll scrub that one. Um, <laughs> so then we thought, then we thought, we'll take the taxi, we'll get a taxi. So we got in. Taxi to have a fan, please. So the taxi driver took us to his mum's. Massive Mamma Mia fan, massive. <laughs> yeah, we'll scrub that one as well. Um, <laughs> so I said, no, 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 Abba fan. You know, with the 1960s mining disaster was, <laughs> you know. You know it. So when I got there, I thought I'd go to the museum. We, we left halfway through, but I knew what happened, I knew what happened. Yeah, I missed that one. Um, so while I was there, 
I thought I'd pop out and see my gran. So I uh, went and seen her. I got asked to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently an erection in an old people's homes is not, <laughs> not a good place to be. Anyways. So then I thought, right, no, no, I'll, I'll go for a swim. I'll go for a swim. So I went to a public pool, do a few strokes. <laughs> <laughs> You're there already. You're there already. So I'll do a few strokes. Again, I got asked to leave. <laughs> Masturbating in a public place. He's frowned upon big time in Wales. Don't do it. So, um, so yeah, I also had an obsession with Phil Collins when I was a kid. <laughs> That's not the punchline. We'll take a look at me now. <laughs> uh, right, I'm going to... Um, so I'm going to do some uh, knock-knock jokes. You might have to... Bit of participation, with red lights on, so I can't do many. So, um, <laughs> knock knock. And Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> She's been dead ten years. Come on. <laughs> um, knock knock. Yeah. Jimmy Savile. <laughs> Did you never see the fucking news, you lot, or what? Um, knock knock. Uh, Rolf Harris. <laughs> Some party, this, isn't it? <laughs> you know, you know. Two little boys had to. You know. uh, knock, knock. Actually, the red light's on. I won't do that one. Anyway. <laughs> Shall I do that? No, I won't do that one. Um, no, I'm going. Right, I'm Stephen Lewis. You can't, you can't follow me on Instagram or Twitter. I've not got any of that stuff. I'm 50, for God's sake. Come on. <laughs> Stephen Lewis, everyone. <laughs>